Hello, I'm Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest YouTube video. You might remember that a few weeks ago I shared an unboxing of some gorgeous goodies from Tapeology and in that video I mentioned that I was going to film a journaling session using lots of those supplies. My schedule is finally a little bit clearer so I've had time to sit down now and start playing with everything. So I'm going to share with you some pages that I've already made and then also film and share a new journaling video with you. I really hope you enjoy it. So these are two of the pages that I've already created using the goodies from Tapeology. So in here I've used lots of the mesh papers and then added some gesso and watercolour over the top and added some of the vellum butterflies. And I'm thinking I'm going to do something similar to that today because I absolutely love that kind of feel. And this is one where I've used the different papers and some of the pieces from within the junk journal pack of papers here. So this time I haven't added anything over the top and I absolutely love how this looks all frayed and beautiful. <laughs> and I then added one of the pressed flower stickers and again, another vellum butterfly here. Uh, the washi tape in both of these spreads is from London Gifties. And this journal was a London Gifties one and you could use absolutely anything on this paper. It was thick like card. But this time I'm using a flex book. I've started decorating the front of it and I absolutely love it. It's one of the ones that I featured in the Colt Pens notebook review video, but the paper is much, much thinner. So I'm having to think a little bit more about how I use the paper, but I'm getting on really, really well with it. So, and it's been quite interesting because some of my members over on Patreon have got thinner notebooks and they've been asking for ways to be able to use different supplies. So I thought it'd be a great chance as well to share that in this video. I'm going to start off as I often do by adding some strips of washi tape down the side of my page. And this is another one from London Gifties. And I thought it'd be nice to use the colours of this washi tape to kind of guide what I decide to add to my page today. It's often a good starting point for me if I want to kind of focus myself and think about what I want to use. Finding one particular item, which could be a sticker or in this case washi tape and using that to really just narrow down some of the supplies I've got and think about what colours I want to use. I'm just gonna cut the corners off this. And the next thing I'm gonna do to prepare this page where I plan to add some wet medium is I'm gonna start off with a layer of De La Rowney gesso. As you can see, I've used fountain pen and brush pen on this page and I've got no problems with that at all. It's when I've got things like wetter mediums so I've just got to be a little bit more careful and toughen my pages up a little bit. So if you are working with a thinner journal like I am today, I would definitely recommend getting yourself a tub of gesso because it really opens up you know, kind of what you can add on those journal pages. And I'm gonna be using some gesso later on in this video anyway. So I'm probably not gonna add it quite all over the page. I'm just gonna make sure that then wherever I add any wet medium is pretty much restricted to this area. But yeah, it's really a helpful supply to have with thinner notebooks. And I add it to quite a lot of my art journals anyway, because it just gives you a nice bit of tooth and a good base layer on your page. And then I'm just gonna give that a really quick dry off before we start adding some collage on top. 
So these are some of the papers that were included in the box I was sent. And what I'm particularly looking for is anything with like, little holes in that I'm gonna be able to allow some of the gesso and watercolor paint to drip through, because I think it gives such an interesting effect. And some of these are kind of more regular papers that you can tear and others are definitely ones that I'm having to cut through. But I absolutely love all of them. It's really giving an interesting kind of extra dimension to the collages I'm putting on my page. So I'm just gonna have a quick sort through these, pick out some different papers, and then share with you how I then add the extra layers on top. So these are the pieces I've chosen. And I'm just gonna start playing around with where I want them on my page. And for gluing down, for the papers, I'm gonna be using my Pritt stick. And for anything a little bit heavier like these, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of my Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium, because it's just a bit tackier, so we'll hold them down a bit more firmly in place. So I'm just getting a rough idea where I want them. And I'm gonna add some of these little meshed layers on top. Now that I've got those collaged pieces down, I'm going to add a layer of gesso over the top, but I'm going to water it down this time. So I'm gonna add some water to that gesso that's still on my plate. Because you want it to act as a little seal and soften it a little bit, but you still want to be able to see through a little bit as well. And I'm not going to go right to the edge of these pieces because I still want to be able to see those beautiful colours coming out kind of just around the outside. So I'm going to start popping this down. And this is going to give us a little layer to be able to add some watercolour on top. I was so excited when I saw these mesh papers. I'm fairly sure I said that when I was filming the unboxing. Because I've done something similar to this before using die cut papers. And that works really well too. But anything with these little gaps in it gives a really kind of hidden like depth to your collage once you add all of the watercolour on top. I'm going to mix up a little bit more of the gesso with some water and then get this completely dry so that we can add some watercolour on top. I'm now going to start mixing up some watercolour paint and I've already got some nice purples in here which is tying in but I think I'm going to look for some other purple paint to add on top and possibly a little bit of this greeny colour here so I'm thinking this might work well. I don't need lots because I'm not working on a huge area but I'm just going to mix up I think probably two colours with quite a bit of water. I'm definitely not going to be doing anything too fancy here. I'm just going to start adding some little layers of this on top. No particular 
rhyme or reason to where I'm adding it, but I am trying to make sure that I'm staying within the gesso that I've just added to try and make sure that it doesn't seep through or damage what's on my journal page underneath. If you do decide to have a go with something similar to this, then please do share it with me. If you tag me in on your photo over on Instagram, I'd absolutely love to see. I always try and keep an eye on the photos I've been tagged in and share as many of them as I can on my Instagram stories so everybody else can see what you've been up to as well. I'm so pleased I finally got round to filming this so as you can see from my pages I'd already had a play but my work schedule been a bit busy over the last few weeks and I've also I also know that I've promised I'll film some more tutorials from my books I promise you they're on the way they're my kind of next on my list to get filming so they'll hopefully be with you in the next week or two Okay, I'm really happy with how that's looking. If you feel that any of the colours are too dark at all, you can always blot them off with a little bit of kitchen roll. The only bits which are slightly darker possibly around there. But other than that, I'm really happy with how that's looking. It's just giving something really interesting to that journal page. So again, the next step is just going to be getting that completely dry so we can add something else on top. I've just been having a look through the pressed flower stickers and I thought this might be really nice because it's got that kind of teal turquoisey colour in it. And because it's transparent, we're still going to be able to see those beautiful layers and colours behind. So I think this is the one I'm going to go for. I've been using the vellum butterfly stickers everywhere, so I'll be surprised if one of those doesn't creep onto my page at some point. See how well this holds up on all of those layers underneath. That's good, it's really sticky, it's held beautifully, that's good. And I thought it'd be nice to have a little quote on here as well. This one's from my printables. I think I'm gonna pop that down there. I'll of course leave links to everything for Tapeology down below again um, with that discount code in case there's anything here that you've thought now you've seen it in use you'd really like to try out. Okay, let's have a look through these <laughs> vellum butterfly stickers. It was going to happen. I thought I won't use them today because I've used them on so many things, but they're just so, so pretty. I'm wondering if perhaps we had a little one up here somewhere. See, that fits perfectly. It was meant to be, and it ties in with the colors. So I think that's the left hand page done and as always I always tend to leave one of my pages a lot clearer so that I've got space for my journal writing. I was looking through though this junk journal vintage pack and I thought it'd be nice to have at least some decoration over on this page. Perhaps I'll include that here.
Now I'm going to add my date and a little quote and for this I'm using a Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen with a firm nib. I went for the quote, keep going, it will be worth it. I know that there's lots of worries and fears at the moment. So this is my little message to myself and hopefully to you to just keep going. So I'm now gonna add my journal writing. I've recently been sent this absolutely gorgeous pen by Stanford Pen Studio in South Africa, who again, of course, I'll leave linked down below. I've been using it lots in my journals. So I'm just gonna add my little journal writing and have a quick catch up with you, up with you at the end. Okay, that's my journal pages all complete. I really hope you enjoyed seeing them come together. I decided to do some of my writing this way round, partly because that was a smaller gap, but also I just think it adds an extra layer of interest to your journal pages. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing it. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video. You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll